that moment, I heard some kind of loud noise. Tell me more. What was this loud noise? I'm not sure, but it was really loud. It was like snap. No come to think of it, I wonder what it was. Hmm. Was it the sound of the victim being electrocuted? Ask for more details. It was like a sharp crack. Could it... Could it have been... Could it have been what? When I pushed him, he dropped the umbrella he was holding. He fell right on top of it, and it broke. That was probably the noise I heard. Did that umbrella belong to the victim? <coughs> oh, sorry. So it was a plastic umbrella, cheap and frail. Then again, I wish I had any kind of umbrella. It was soaked to the bone. Oh, poor Phoenix. Yes. That a girl, man. Shut your face, dude. Alright. After I shoved him, he fell down on top of his cheap umbrella. Let's press. Alright. If it hadn't been under him, I was planning on borrowing it myself. You're wearing the sweater here. Dolly stayed up late. Late for nights at a time knitting it for me. I didn't want the rain to dampen the handmade symbol of her love. Oh, my stomach is not to be used as your personal soccer ball, Mia. <laughs> I love those little let's beat up Wilford Brimley moments. Hmm. He fell on top of his cheap umbrella. Let's press the rest of these statements first before we come back to this. There's two statements left. Here. Did you leave the scene right away? Yep. You're furious, so you left. But like you said, you got worried about him later. So I went back, but he was laying there dead. Do you see anyone else there? Oh, come on. Hmm. Alright. So let's go back to that new statement. Oh, shut up. Okay, he, he fell down on top of his cheap umbrella. If you're pain. Sorry. Sneeze. Ugh. Anyway. If you took a good look at the crime scene picture, in the background a bit, there's an umbrella. And it's broken. So, if what Phoenix is saying is true, then the body was moved. Let me have our contradiction. Mention that. Ah. You see the umbrella now? It's in the background there, and it's broken. It's by the electrical pole, which is probably what Phoenix pushed him into. <coughs> the defendant left, the victim moved from where he fell. After he was pushed by the defendant, Mr. Swallow was still alive. An important point. Where is it now? Evidence. Not if it was under him, dude.
relatively trivial, but as long as the smallest doubt remains. Ha! Take that puffy haired. So we've got this testimony. In the court record now. Oh shut up. Decisive witness. This witness's testimony will be incontrovertible. Dahlia Hawthorne? She's gonna testify against her boyfriend. Okay. She was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Okay. That's a spirit, Mia. Oh! Oh, oh! Mia's perking up over this. Hi there. You, you. Yeah, true. Relax then, huh? Relax, my boy. Hiding such important facts. Shut up, Wilfred Brimley. No one asked your opinion. I wouldn't doubt that. Oh, I would doubt that, actually. Hmm. More about you and Dolly, please. Dolly and I, we first met about eight months ago, right here in this very courthouse. Actually, I'm studying to be a lawyer on the side. Anyway, one day she and I just bumped in into each other in the reading room downstairs. That's why I really think it was fate that brought us together. As soon as I first set eyes on her, I knew she was the one for me. Oh, here, take a good look at this. She gave this to me. The day we met as a symbol of our love. She had been wearing it around her neck that day, but then she took it off. Before she gave it to me, she said, I want you to carry this. <coughs> so she gave you a present. This darling little bottle is filled with memories of my darling little dolly. It makes me so happy I show it to everyone I meet. I want to share my happiness with the whole world. Yeah, we'll be taking that. <clears throat> After that, you started dating. She's so shy. Every time I see her, she always says the same thing to me. Please give it back now. That is quite odd. The day you first met Dahlia, eight months ago. August 27th? Interesting. Right here in this courthouse, a newspaper clipping. Murder in the courthouse? Interesting. Hmm. Well, you suddenly took a keen interest in this case. So, Mia believes there's a relationship between this case now and the case eight months ago? That a girl, Mia. What you have will not be enough. Go and have a look at the downstairs reading room and see what else I can find. Thanks, Wolford Brimley. If you have diabetes, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you. Alright. new jingle. Anyway, we're gonna end this off here. At the save point. Next time, Dolly!